as we gather together this day, I invite you all to take a deep breath. Give yourself permission to let go the worries of the day. Giving thanks for the breath that we breathe in this day and the newness of this day. And as we pause together, we hear the words of the poet Abraham Herschel. Speech has power. Words do not fade. What starts out as a sound ends in a deed. And now we hear the scripture for this morning. We listen to scripture from the book of James, chapter 3, verses 10 through 12. Hear now the reading of the Holy Word. Blessing and cursing come from the same mouth. My brothers and sisters, it just shouldn't be that way. Both fresh water and salt water don't come from the same spring, do they? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree produce olives? Can a grapevine produce figs? Of course not, and fresh water doesn't flow from a salt water spring either. As we think together this morning, let's let's ponder this question together. What did God design our mouths for? In thinking about that question, I can come up with four things. Eating, giving kisses to my family and my dogs, using it along with the rest of my face to make silly faces so my kids will laugh, and communicating with others do a fifth one. I would say singing also for me. But did God intend for us to use our speech to put others down? Of course not, we think. Yet how often do we use our words to tear others down or not use our words to bring out the best in us? We use our words in such harmful ways at school, at work, sometimes even at church. Watching our favorite sports teams lose in politics and to anyone who can hear us when we are having a bad day. In Ephesians 4, chapter 4, verse 15, Paul says, We grow in every way into Christ by speaking the truth in love. James is a bit blunter by saying, Harsh words and good words just don't mix together. Let us strive to speak the truth in love. If you join me in a time of prayer. Faithful God, help me seek words that speak the truth in love. May they always be focused on building up the body of Christ. Amen. And as we prepare to go and leave this sacred space and sacred time together, I invite you to remember to not only speak the truth in love to others, but also to speak the truth in love to yourself. And when you speak out, speak kindly, speak boldly, but speak humbly. Speak often, but don't waste your words. Speak passionately, but speak faithfully. Speak the truth, but speak it in love. Speak, but don't forget to listen. Go in peace.